and what's going on fontaine here vip and i'm back with another tutorial video for you guys this time it's going to go really really quick we had a member request they were wanting to know how to save their plug-in presets inside the machine now for those who don't know it's basically a machine instrument if you want to call it that or if you want to call it a machine to plug-in file whatever for example in machine let's say you have a plug-in open right here i have the beast mode uh red plugin. you guys can go on the site and you actually can download this plugin now and watch a demo video on it. But anyway, in machine, whenever you save, let's say like an instrument preset, all right, normally you go to this little tab here and you go down to where it would say save or save as. So when you do that, it saves the little MXINST file inside the machine. Now, wherever that is saved at, that's your instrument preset. You know, if you're in here on your plugin, for example, and you're moving around, I don't know, an EQ, you might have, you know, something set up a certain way as, as far as your, your highs, your mids, uh, your lows, you know, you might have a certain setting, you know, set up inside your, uh, your plugin that you might want to recall or rather recall, you know, at a later time. So what happens is when you do that, when you go inside machine, Normally you would go right here, okay? And you would press open here, okay? And when you press open here, it's when it goes inside your machine, uh, inside your hard drive rather, and it recalls the preset and it loads the plugin. That's one way to do it. Nothing wrong with that, it's perfectly fine. Most people I know, they do it like that. But there are people who use instruments a lot, you know, such as drum machine plugins, like, you know, Drum Lab or Nexus 2, where they might want to actually save certain uh, presets inside a machine. So what happens is you can take those, um, those instrument files, you know, and create a new folder, for example, or add them to a folder. You know, if you want to make your own folder on your desktop, you know, you just right click here, you know, and, and, and make a new folder. You know, if you want to name it, um, plugin, let's say a plugin preset, you know, plugin preset like that, you know, et cetera, et cetera, certain name of your plugin and save them in there, you can do that. And what happens is when you're inside machine, it's gonna work the same as basically when you're scanning your library. For example, you go to preferences here, you know, let's say you go to library user, okay? You know how you scan your kits in? It works the same way. And as you can see right here, let me see if I can find mine. Uh, I, named it, I named it right here, beast mode, in I plugin presets. Okay. So when you add that location, in other words, the folder, how I just made it on the desktop, you would press rescan. Okay. When you press rescan, depending on that plugin, okay, it's going to show up here, the vendor, uh, or the manufacturer of the plugin, for example, the beast mode plugin that we created here, the vendor name shows up here, a plugin, or in other words, this is an external, uh, plugin. Okay. All your instrument settings are going to be saved here. So let's say, for example, I did something specific that I saved inside the machine. Basically, for example, let's say if I clicked on this beast mode, special edition, MIDI out one through 16 kit one, if I clicked on that, for example, you notice how the EQ is up a little bit here, the mids up a little bit here, the lows up a little bit here. We got these EQ switches set like this. If I go to my compressor switch here, I have three decibels of gain, you know, 1.2 millisecond attack, you know, a very long release. In other words, with the uh, compressor on, if I go over here, let's say to the reverb, it's on freeze mode. It's not engaged. I have a very dry mix here, not too much of a big size here and, and the gates not open too much. So that would be one setting and also has a kit loaded on it. As you can see right there, it says uh, kit one. Again, when you press on save and load here, you can load or save your instruments from this menu here. So when it goes in here, you can see a kit. This is a different uh, folder location that I have saved uh, specifically for machine two. These are just some kits that I put in here for fast and easy um, browsing. Okay. so. Let's say if I went to another one like this, this instrument preset right here and I click that, 
okay you notice how it's different now you can see right here where the eq uh the high is more or less set to its default the mid is kind of taken out the low is kind of taken out uh these switches here are actually down now okay if i go back to my compressor here the compressor is not on you can see right here where it has a little bit of gain reduction as a negative 3.6 gain reduction you know an attack that's not as long but a very fast attack here i mean not uh say an attack here <laughs> i mean it doesn't have a long release as long as the other setting was but it has a fast attack okay if i go over to where the reverb was okay it's engaged here with the freeze mode on a little bit more of a wet mix right here right there the mix was up a little bit more the gate was open a little bit more in comparison to the other setting basically however you have it set up also you can see it's a different kit here this is kit two so that's what tagging your instrument presets can do for example beast mode special edition red i have it under types under the modes you know for example being that this is more of a drum machine more than an instrument of course you could put instrument sounds on your pads and create instruments but you know if this was nexus 2 or whatever you know under your mode you might want to select different instrument modes but for these i custom tag these you know such as uh the midi out kits uh transpose kits okay here goes some of the midi kits here goes some of the transpose kits uh regular drum kits he goes like some regular drum kits or i can do them all you know all banks at the same time you don't just browse through them all and again this is familiar to you because you know if you're tagging your uh your drum kits you're gonna pretty much know how to uh, go through this we have a video on that on the site so if you want to take a look at that you can go ahead and do that because you have an edit icon here and basically down here is where you're going to go through your plugin presets you know for example right here i'm selecting beast mode red you know and it works the same you go down here and you you narrow down your attributes if you want to go over here to your properties you know and add your vendor name uh you know in your little comments you know you might have something specific that you might want to uh, remind yourself about the plugin or whatever the case may be and again for instruments you have different modes like right here is, i'm tagging this as drum kits as i'm doing here you know you have dry fm glide grand you have long release you have any and everything down here native instruments has some uh some pretty cool preset up ones in there and of course i have the ones that i put in here so that's where you know those go and again there's a little icon right here and that's where you just fill it in of course here's your bank types you know when you're done with it you press apply and edit and you also have this little menu right here you know if you want to type it in you could type it in like uh this here okay and we'll just hold it up right there it's your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com showing you how to get your external plugins presets for later use via tagging and filtering them if you have any questions or concerns hit me up see you on the next one peace